Here's problem 31.8. In the arrangement shown, a conducting bar of negligible resistance slides along a horizontal parallel frictionless conducting rails connected as shown to a 2 ohm resistor. A uniform 1.5 Tesla magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the paper. If L is equal to 60 centimeters, at what rate is thermal energy being generated in the resistor at the instant the speed of the bar is equal to 4.2 meters per second? All right, so we have a moving conductor. Velocity is 4.2 meters per second. It's part of a circuit where the resistance is 2 ohms. And the length of this bar right here is 0.6 meters, 60 centimeters. For this sort of thing, the EMF induced is going to be equal to BLV. That will give us the voltage induced. We want to find the current and then the power because we want to find the rate at which thermal energy is being generated. Whenever you say rate, you're looking for something per time, and energy per time is power. So that's what we're looking for. All right, so BLV, our magnetic field is 1.5 Tesla. L is 0.6 meters. Velocity is 4.2 meters per second. So our voltage is 3.78 volts for our EMF. Since uh, we only have the resistance of that resistor, our current will be equal to our EMF voltage divided by the resistance. 3.78 volts divided by 2 ohms is going to be 1.89 amps. So we have 1.89 amps going through the resistor, and we want the rate of thermal energy being generated. That's going to be power. And for a resistance like that, that's going to be equal to I squared R. So that will be 1.89 amps squared times 2 ohms. And that is equal to 7.14 watts, joules per second. 7.14 joules per second, which is a watt. We could have used uh, voltage squared divided by resistance, but this is a nice general method for this kind of problem so that's why I did it this way. 7.14 watts is the rate of thermal energy being generated in this moving conductor.